Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you're doing great. And in this video, I'm going to explain a basic terminologies from the OData service. Um, once you start designing the OData service project, you might come across many areas. So I'm trying to cover uh, most of the very basic project watch while you're creating it. Okay, um, hopefully this also might be a, a questions, maybe in your technical discussions. And here I try to uh, explain the basic concept of uh, each topic. So once you, are once you have a clear idea about the topic, then it's very easy to understand the questions and the answer is automatically it comes. Okay, so that is the idea of this quick reference. Let's get into the slide. So once you start designing the OData servers, you come to know these three things, entity, entity type and entity set. So please be have a, a good understanding about these three things. So it's very easy to understand the questions and you can able to give the answer what they are expecting. Okay. So first thing is, what is entity? Define entity. So in a very common uh, answer is entity is a thing which like independently exists. Okay. So it can be identified very uniquely. So come to the O data level. So you are able to convert this statement with it can be a row or a record of uh, any document, any business document. It can be a, a PO or sales order or a purchase order, whatever it is. It's, it should be relevant. So the end, there is a row means it has many fields. So everything is relevant to one business scenario. So that is the idea of entity. Each row or record we do, uh, describe as entity. In this example, so I have how many entities? Four entities. I'm talking about entity. Okay. So there are four entities. So this row one is one entity, two, three, four. So each one is uh, identified uniquely and this is actually relevant means uh, belongs to or it, it, it carries uh, relevant information. Okay. So all the related to purchase or information over here. Okay. And um, Okay, another point is attributes. So what is attributes over here? So property of an entity. So you can say this is an entity. What is a property? Every field has its own properties. It could be a character. It could be uh, um, how many size of your uh, entity. It's, it's like uh, 50 or 40, whatever it is. And uh, it's normally we call it as technical aspects of a field. It's nothing but uh, attributes over here. Okay, so what is the data type? What is the data um, size and if there is any decimal places or not okay so those are considered as property of an entity so if they ask about attribute you have to explain so property of an entity we consider as attributes and known as define entity type so in general entity type is a category which is relevant to entity belongs to so meaning or you just come to that uh, OData levels entity type is referring the category of the row so what is the category of the row uh, your category of the row could be a material business category okay very uh, specific i can say it, it belongs to a finance it belongs to a purchase order it belongs to a, a posting okay so like that so that that is going to be uh, described or defined in the entity type now come to the acgw screenshot if you have if you remember under the auditor model you have an entity type so what is actually entity type once that you create an entity type with a name so normally we create with po details po item details header details sales details and inside that entity properties is nothing but a fields okay so we are going to design uh, the structure of the row how the structure of the row so that's what they mentioned very clearly it's a category which is the relevant entity belongs to entity is nothing but a record okay so take the previous example so the everything is belongs to the category called purchase order so that is called entity type okay it refers the category of your record entity set so collection of more entity uh, entities or nothing but entity set okay so it's a collection of a particular entity type and the type of all entities must be same okay obviously it will be same and um, or at a level entity set is referring all the records belong to the same entity type okay in the previous example so this is one entity set okay and it belongs to purchase order and every the collection of entities is, is going to be uh, saved as a or considered as a one entity set obviously if you see entity set 
very technical we are saying entities set returns more than one record collection of records okay it's possible only in entity set okay so now um, all in one take this example so these are entities each one is considered as entities and this is an entity type which belongs to a category which is going to um, determine the category based on your records and the collection of entities is going to be uh, in the entity set okay so have a clarity on these three so then the understanding the question is very easy clear and next what is the difference between entity type and entity set it's a very common question so now you have a clarity on it so entity type is going to decide or uh, describe the data structure of the entity and the entity set is nothing but contains the data of the entity so whatever entity has is going to collect over the in the entity set and it refers to the category of an entity but here it refers to all the entities of an entity type okay so these are the two uh, difference i personally just uh, described over here so if you find something more on that it's well and good so make sure these are the difference between type and entity set then once you understand the basic of type and set you can have or you can create your own differences also and define association so association is very simple it's just making a uh, creating a mapping between two entity sets that is we call it association and here over few points so association is nothing but to express the relationship between the entities. So header and item, header and uh, shipping, header and invoice, or item and uh, dependent entity, whatever it is, depends on the scenario, we can create our own association. Excuse me. So with the association, obviously you can enable the foreign key constraint between the object. So normally we give the dependent uh, field right between two entities what is the field which is going to be uh, similar or same the value is going to be same so that we are able to achieve through association so type if you consider there are simple and complex it's not a category it's a type uh, so it depends on how you make your association so classified into a simple or complex association and principal and dependent options like determine the hierarchy of the entity so you have to say which is the principal entity and which is the dependent one. So based on that, the hierarchy will decide. So this is a header, this is an item. So that is the technical term is nothing but principal and dependent op options, which, which once you create association, this is coming in the association wizard. And the instance of associations are grounded in association set. It's nothing but if you create the association automatically, the last is before the last screen, I believe, there is an option to create an association set. Okay, it's nothing but I can say the collection of all associations are coming under association set also. Okay, this is about the association. And what is a navigation path or navigation property? Okay, once you have, once you start learning the association, obviously you have to learn the navigation path also. Every association have a checkbox to enable the navigation property, but it is optional. If you want, you can enable it. It depends on the scenario. So navigation path is nothing but a special property which refers a specific association. Suppose I have n number of association in my design. So, but the UI requirement is, uh, depends on their screen request, they want to call association one, association two, association three. How can we achieve that with the help of a navigation property only? So that is the uh, UI request which decides which association to be called and multiple navigation properties can be used in one single Odita service call. Probably you might have heard of that, okay? So maybe the next slide you can see that one. Uh, what are the uh, possible syntax for navigation or navigation property? Navigation path. So here the first one is for a normal association and uh, multiple associations you have, which associations to be called based on the navigation path, this is going to be determined, okay? And then second and third, you have uh, additional field called dollar expand. It's, it belongs to a deep entity method or deep entity concept. And uh, if you have a single navigation property, so you have to say expand equal to, if it is multiple navigation property, come on one and navigation property two. So that is also possible. These two are belongs to deep entity concept. And this is uh, the normal association you're going to call depends on which association you want to just mention that navigation path over here. Okay. I didn't try whether it can be called more than one navigation path. So I'm not sure about it. If you want, you can just try with a normal association. 
with can more than one navigation path is possible or not okay if you find some answers definitely i will share a defined model so what is a model it's very simple so i have created a design of um, or data service in segw um, transaction my ui developer needs to know what is the design of your auditor service okay before calling the auditor service i need to understand what are the fields you have what are the key fields you have what is the sort you are just preferring which are which fields are coming under filterable searchable options which are date and time so everything i should know so that is nothing but the model uh, of your data okay so it's nothing but a data model enables the binding of controls to data from auditor service it defines how the data is going to be and what are the conditions of the data which we implemented in our design and auditor model is a server side model normally meaning um, all the data is going to be uh, get from the server side so nothing is in the client side so every request if you want a data you have to request to the backend and you will get a data from your uh, backend system with the help of auditor servers or auditor servers right and then operations suppose such as filtering sorting and filtering are done on the server side so if the if the client needs the client needs to send a request to the server and it shows the return data okay apart from that if you want to do a sorting and filtering probably you can do it in ui side but i um, in my experience i see most of the operations are happening in the back end so ui is just a place they want to display that data as per the requirement nothing more than my data manipulations or everything is happening in the back end only okay and then um yeah, this is just a screenshot where you can able to see or maintain the models and services so you had to go to the netweaver and gateway uh, service uh, enablement and then uh, service deployment for back end auditor channel so you have to use model services or display models and services okay then uh, define service so what is a service it, this is at the end so service is nothing but as a place or it's a link where the ui uh, just get the data from the backend system okay it is just a service layer and an auditor model and it has its own protocols or rules like four data protocols to get the data from the backend system and the output can be converted to a standard formats where the ui can use normally we have json we have uh, xml formal or atom pub so everything is available so that also can be converted with the service okay so that is a way we got us service over here so probably these are the very basic uh, terminologies once you start designing the auditor so you should know about it okay so anything else okay nothing hope this might be useful for you uh, just uh, go through this if you have any doubt please let me know and thank you so much for your time see you in the next